Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Focus Fire with Lothans. As our priority target this week is none other than Cookie Cutter's Captain and Cork Specialist, Lava Cookie. Thank you for joining me. How are you doing tonight? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So, guys, how this works is if you missed the first couple episodes, this is episode three, as you can see right up there. And basically, this is where we can get to know your favorite Prep Phase League players on a more personal level. So, let's go ahead and get started. Lava, are you ready? Yes. All right. So, to start things off with, what is your real first name? It's uh, Melinda. Melinda. Very nice. Yeah. Where is Melinda from? All over. I've moved probably every two or three years of my life. <laughs> okay. Any particular reason for that or just uh, just like to move around or what? My dad's in the military. He's uh, Air Force. And there then I go. got married to a Navy guy. And then, yeah. <laughs> just keeping on the same trend, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, kind of going in towards the game here, how did you first find out about Atlas Reactor? I was bored back in spring, um, and I was looking through YouTube, just looking at top MMOs coming up. <laughs> and I found it on there. I was like, no way, this looks so cool. And then I jumped right in and loved it. Same story for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, just kind of looking around for stuff. That's the best way to find a new game, no doubt about it. Just look around, see what's coming up or is out, and in this case, was out in the alpha. And uh, you probably got in there right about the same time I did. So, uh, yeah. In the game itself, Lava Cookie, what is your favorite freelancer and why? Mine's Quirk, obviously, um, because he, when you learn him to the fullest potential, he could be anything you want to be. You can be a support full on, you could be a firepower kind of mixed in, or you can play hide and seek with everyone. <laughs> I think my favorite quirk build, and you'll you'll have to tell me if this is actually a good idea or a bad idea, is to just do mighty quirk on the radiate, the mighty alt of course, and you increase your healing by two two per turn that you're attached to a friendly target. That way you don't lose any healing after three turns. You're giving somebody might just sit back on like one of the firepowers. You think that's a good strategy with Quark or, or not really? It can be depending on who you're attached to. A lot of people like to change their way of movement and you have to keep up with them. Absolutely. That's why I'm so. That's probably the most stressful thing it's about okay. playing Quark, isn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. That's why most people don't play Quark and Pugs. Yeah, it's very difficult to keep track of the person you're tethered to. At any rate, Lava Cookie, going backwards a little bit into mm -hmm. your gaming life, when did you first start gaming, and which game was it, if you recall? Doom 95 on Windows 95 LAN with my brother and sister. Excellent. A great game. <laughs> That's a, truly a classic. Uh, so what kind of, is that? is that the one that kind of hooked you to gaming, or was it something later on? Uh, it was Dofus when it came out when I was seven or eight, something like that. Um, MMORTS, kind of a chess style game like Atlas is. Okay. It's a French made game. I've never heard of it, so maybe uh, you can tell us more about that. Um, basically, you could pick now from 14 different classes and you move turn based. And I usually run multiple clients on my computer to fill up my entire team. You can have six people. So I run like two clients with three on each and just play it myself. It's well, a lot that's of one fun. way to do it, yeah. Now, if you, yeah. if you had to look at your life and say, this is my most favorite, whether it be a person, a place, or a thing, or whatever, what would that thing be? That's so hard. You're making me choose between Alice and my husband. Okay, it's my husband. <laughs> you won't watch this, right? You had a little hesitation there. <laughs> Perhaps. But an excellent answer, nonetheless. Now, going into your, your game name, Lava Cookie, where did you come up with that name? Um, Lava Cookie is an 
uh, healing item in Ruby, the original Ruby version. I'm sure it's in the new one, Omega Ruby. But I picked it up when I started playing in MMORPGs because I've always been a support character, always been a tank. So Lava Cookie heals all the ailments of your Pokemon. And I was like, eh, it works. <laughs> Fair enough. So. I know you still play Pokemon games. What's your favorite one of all time? Oh, God. Probably X version at the moment. Okay. I'm sure there's some X version fans out there watching right now. So shout out <laughs> to you guys. So, Lava Cookie, what do you personally do to prepare as team captain of the Cookie Cutters, one of the prep phase teams in competitive play? What do you do to prepare yourself and your team for the next set of matches? Um, typically because I've been put in the frontliner position, I've been doing a lot of solo bot games to get comfortable with all the movements I can, because it's really stressful when you get into tournament game and you're like, oh, I don't know this very well, so I can't help out. Um, and then for my team, I'm usually the person that coordinates all of our events whenever we're training together, re-watching our videos, uh, just trying to spend as much time together as possible, even if it's not Atlas Reactor. So Certainly getting that familiarity with one another, the team synergy going behind the scenes, mm -hmm. very, very important. Um, what sort of hobbies do you have outside of gaming? I love reading sci-fi, I write, and doing all the creative things. Excellent. So. Now, what made you decide that you wanted to get involved in competitive Atlas Reactor? Well, I've been in the competitive scene before, and I couldn't just leave Atlas Reactor anytime soon. And I felt like the competitiveness would keep me going, keep the fire going. So I found Remney, and we made a team. Excellent. It's pretty fun. Good motivation to move forward. Of course, you guys... Slipped into that season one tournament, just barely started. didn't quite make it this time around. The tournament's coming up really, really soon, next weekend. Um, is the prize money on you guys' mind going into season three, or is that something that you just kind of try to put, a, put off to the side and take it one game at a time? Honestly, the prize money is great and all, but it's just a bonus. We play to have fun. We play to show our dedication and to kind of just go alongside other tournament players. So, Fair enough, fair enough. Definitely is a nice bonus. So it's got to be in the back of your mind somewhere. Yeah. But it, as long as it's not the top just priority. Just a little then, bit. Yeah, just a little bit. And I think <laughs> that's a healthy way to look at it. As long as it's not the top motivating priority of playing the game. I think you guys can be uh, a fantastic team with a great mentality moving forward. So uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy to hear that. I am a cookie cutters fan after all. Um, so generally speaking, what do you do for yourself if things go wrong and you lose a game to try and stay focused and positive for the next one? Obviously, winning every game is the goal. But when those losses come, what do you do? Uh, depends on if the game is coming up the next week or in 20 minutes. When it's the game is next in 20 minutes, I usually just go get a coffee, take a break, chill, tell everybody else to do the same. Because chilling is the best way to come back collectively versus focus, focus, focus. It's like going to school and you take that 15-minute break or whatever between yeah. classes kind of thing. Yeah, school's a great example. When you're studying, 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 you need that little break. Let mm -hmm. your mind kind of recharge a little bit, definitely. Yeah. Um, if it's the next week, we kind of just take a chill pill, have fun, play a lot of games that are not Alice related, but then still invest our time enough to try to have fun with it and learn at the same time. So. Okay. Now, what advice would you give somebody if you knew they were just starting to take a look at Atlas Reactor for the first time? Mostly find a Lancer you like. Find a kit you like. Find the mods that you feel the most comfortable with working. Try to fix them around. Get them 
acquainted and just go with that character for a while and you'll start to see things more than you would if you just kept swapping characters around. Obviously with the grind we're having this weekend, it showed me so many things. <laughs> yeah, so it, what you're referring to obviously is the head start that's going on right now for Alice Reactor. This is free release. Head start is available for the people who actually own the game. Well, getting that opportunity to grind away to level 20 on their favorite freelancer and get that nice notification and respect of your peers, of course, for getting that first to level 20 on somebody. A lot of people have done that. I know you're working on Corp, so we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. But before we do that, uh, do you have anything that you want to say to your fans or maybe the Cookie Cutters fans before we uh, close off here? I want to say is that I thank everybody for being a part of this amazing community that's been so positive since day one that I arrived. And that everyone just keep having fun to the best of their capabilities. All right, so we're going to be going out to a little bit of music here, Lava Cat. See if we can do a little groove on our way out here, and we'll just sign off to that. Hey, everybody. Lothans here. Thanks for tuning in to episode number three, where our priority target this time on the Focus Fire show was, of course, Lava Cookie. What an excellent interview. We got to know her on a very personal level, so happy to uh, have her on the show. Very much appreciate it. Check out the links over there on the left side of your screen. That is my social media sites, and Lava Cookies is below, just down there. Her Twitch channel is available. She streams all the time, all kinds of good stuff. So we'll see you next week with another interviewee.